there is right now a lot of confusion in regards to Venom The Last Dance and how it retcons the MCU Spider-Man No Way Home scene, which of course features Venom being zapped over into his own universe and leaving a piece of symbiote behind. A lot of people don't seem to understand what actually happened here, so let's cover it and let me explain why nothing was actually retconned. In the MCU, at least. So when it comes to Venom, we of course know that he was in the MCU during the events of Spider-Man No Way Home, as all the villains got pulled into that universe or were being pulled. Obviously, that's the plot of the film. By the end of it, he's zapped back into his universe, and he leaves a piece of symbiote behind. And of course he left it right there at the bar that he was at when he got zapped back. In Venom The Last Dance, all the confusion started with the trailer and the revelation that the bartender here is, well, um, somehow dealing with a piece of the symbiote. And Venom The Last Dance actually explains what this is, but people um, I don't think were paying attention or are just fixated on their own narrative, so... Let me try to explain what happened in the simplest way possible from point A to point B. So what I'm seeing online is people saying Venom gets zapped back into his universe and then the piece of symbiote is left behind, which is how the military complex uh, organization that's after Venom and the symbiotes finds the piece, contains it, and therefore it's no longer in the MCU. Now here's the problem with this because before this exact scene happens, minutes before it, we actually find out that this is not the MCU piece of the symbiote. What happens is that in the MCU, in Spider-Man No Way Home, when he gets zapped back, he gets pulled quickly through the portal behind him. We see that exact scene through a different point of view in Venom The Last Dance. Now, the symbiote piece that was still left behind in the MCU is still there because that scene continues from the other point of view. What we got here is a point of view that shows us Venom being zapped back and then the camera follows him. He ends up at the same bar, but obviously it's in the multiverse, right? It's back in the Venom universe. We then see Venom and Eddie use themselves without the bartender services to make themselves drinks and the bartender is freaking out. He then sort of stands there as Venom and Eddie head out into the streets. Venom then decides to leave a tip. He takes money, a coin, flips it back onto the countertop that we see right here, and that piece of symbiote stays behind, just like the piece in the MCU. It does this because obviously, um, you know, they've been playing with multiverses and pieces started to fall off and or get ripped off because of uh, the disconnection to the bigger, I would assume, hive mind that was at one point part of Venom and how he knows about the entire multiverse. That's at least the way I explain it. He's sort of shedding, if you will. And that's something we see happen in this film in another instance. So what we have is two pieces of Venom symbiote that were left behind in the same location in different multiverses. Therefore, if you're just following what I just said, the MCU piece is still there, while this one was a different piece that fell off but was ultimately given back to Venom. Because the whole film literally hinges on that symbiote and uh, its whereabouts, finding it and then chasing Venom. And also, you can probably tell where that's going with Agent Venom, because I made a video on it explaining it. Well everybody, thank you for watching that video, and as always, you can like, subscribe, share, do whatever you will check out the recommended video that's popped up somewhere on the screen. And also, if you would like additional content, including more discussions and more unfiltered content, check out what we offer to the members section, which has new videos going up all the time.